heard your cries, Googan Nation. But too much of a good thing is bad for your health. So we're only doing this once a week. Buckle up, baby. It's time for ETN on 1010XL. Hit it! Choke. Oh, what a play. disaster. It's so hot right now. And, and what a play. disaster by me. <laughs> and it kept going and going. It's like it's completely I, it checked I out. I was checked out. I wasn't yeah. listening to it at all. Mm. That was very poor. Waiting for the music. That we is. Can't, we mm. can't have Error that. on me. Wow. We cannot have that at E3. this point. I love this. 2021, we're striving for greatness, not going backwards. So. I love the speed it. with which <laughs> NFL reports just go out of control. Speed. Yeah. Front page, CBS Sports, as I look at it. Logical landing spots for Watson. I mean, oh, we yeah. go from zero to 100 in a, a millisecond these days. So we just talked about uh, Deshaun. We'll leave that at that. Uh, for now, I want to talk about something that is going on today, going down, and that's Urban Meyer will be in town, apparently, for a face-to-face uh, yeah, with the Jaguars. I asked the Googans, I said, uh, on Twitter, <clears throat> and, and they've given me some good ideas here. I said, where do you think Herbs and, and, and Shot are going are gonna to meet? Most of them will come out and say Kismet, the yacht, yeah. obviously. But then we got some good ones. The like, yacht is downtown right now, right? Is it? Yeah. I th- somebody, well, we were talking about the yacht the other day, and someone had. Well, if it is, I bet. I, I don't bet go they downtown wouldn't. anymore, so I yeah. couldn't tell you. Uh, Angie's Sub Shop, Applebee's. <laughs> Angie's. They're not going to meet at Angie's. That would be terrific. What are you talking about? What do you about? want? I'll have the Jack Del Rio, please. <laughs> I'll have the Hick and Chicken. Uh, uh, Applebee's, Chicago. Uh, <laughs> the city Ohio there was a rat in my cob salad uh, Tony Kornheiser the best restaurant in Jacksonville Waffle House Gators Dockside Brucci's uh, your house Terry's Country S- Store at the ATM Bill Cowher's house would be a good spot <laughs> um, at the Amico right across from Paxson <laughs> what Kismet is moored in Miami Beach apparently according to one right, of the today it is they, yeah, me they, they, map. Said, they said it was downtown the other day so I think TC, when he met with Shad Khan, was down in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Walk on the beach, stroll, actually, maybe even a saunter. <laughs> Lache. And then, of course, Wackos. So, not sure oh, where. Oh, biggest, uh, biggest burger in town. I'm not sure where they're meeting, but looking forward to, uh, looking forward to it. I, I, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I, I thought, Albert, you know, Albert Breer's mailbag. Is there something going on in Miami, like, uh, early next week that Herbs might be at? The, the mm. championship game? Good point. There you go. Uh, is that is that where the title game is? Yeah. And if the Kismet's down there, well, then that would make sense. Yeah. 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 What who drives the Kismet? That probably wouldn't be a bad job being the Kismet captain. Would it be hard to drive the Kismet, or you is know, it all computer driven? I'll give you something. This is Just a punch in the location. Yeah, it's like a Tesla. Here's a, here, this. This is interesting, and I didn't. I've only met met the, the, not one, like the old days with the iceberg. It's dead ahead. Got a guy with a crow's neck. No. Hey. Gulfstream, dead ahead. All right, smooth sailing. <laughs> Captain Hicken, that's the coastline. You know, it's funny, but my 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 daughter's <laughs> boyfriend's boat. family. Her, yes. He's a ship's captain for like Latin America owner of Pepsi. So he he would be the kismet. He would be the guy to ask. Yeah, is he retired and now doing no, the kismet? No, is that where they go? Would he be like? No, uh, they go all over. Would he be like that? They're show? based in you know Venezuela. Is he like that show on Bravo? Below, uh, the below deck. deck. I don't. Below I don't. Deck? I don't watch that. Does he have that TV. kind of? Does he have those kind of, below the decks? Yeah. I don't. I don't think so. No. I no. think they seem to be nice, upstanding guys. Those kind of people. shenanigans yeah, going they're, on. They're not into like topless waitresses and all that nonsense. Yeah, they don't go below deck and you know to get that their jo- happen with to, the get, to get their jollies. Remember that phrase. <laughs> Who was our guy that had to apologize for eating off the naked model on below? Yeah, games? that was one of these quarterbacks for one of these also ran teams who thinks he's a big enough boy to matter, like the UNLV quarterback, maybe Nevada Rito quarterback, one of those dudes. Oh man, some Mountain West quarterback. Listen, bro, no one knew who you were before you went below deck, and no one knows who you are now. Don't apologize for <laughs> Max him. Gillum, what Gilliam, for? the UNLV quarterback. Yeah, yes. UNLV. Maybe they're going to meet at CC's Pizza. There's so much room there for activities. <laughs> hey, the color. The color a little Some bit. Some great opportunities to meet. Daly's Dash could meet there. They could meet in a closet at Marriott. <laughs> Herbs likes to hang before the George game. We, we did just... get that report from someone within the pro, you know, inside the deal who said the stress got to Urban Meyer one year before Florida George, and he literally like locked himself in an equipment closet at the Marriott Sawgrass. Hey, man, maybe just park it on a golf huh? cart and have some pizza. Brett McMurphy uh, uh, reporting that Michigan nearing a deal with Jim Harbaugh, yeah. five year extension somewhere. Is that in Columbus I'm hearing that noise? 
Oh, you know, that's I, cheering. I, I got to be honest. If I'm, I, you know, and this is a hard one because Jim Harbaugh obviously has not has, has failed. He has failed at Michigan big time compared to what you thought. But I'm still not sure I'd be willing to move on yet. Yeah. If I'm a Michigan fan, I at some point I think yeah. oh, this guy is you, proven. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in. I, okay. I, I appreciate you. Yeah. But you said you said the words if I'm a Michigan fan. Yeah. If you were a Michigan fan, you would be ready to move on because I'm I'm telling you this from watching you through the years as a Gator fan. If Jim Harbaugh put you through what he's put Michigan fan through, you would be ready to try somebody else. Yes or no? Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like four I, years I, ago. But you I, I mean, I get what you're saying, but there's no way. I mean, oh, it's no. harder to say. I, yeah. I don't feel, first of all, okay, what if it, okay. Florida look, look. State has beaten you every single year. Okay, Steve Spurrier then. Okay. You'd, if it was the exact same thing and Spurrier was in Gainesville. Right. After these. Oh, the native four, son, you mean? Yeah. It makes a difference. It does like, make a the difference. Pre- the pressure on Jim Harbaugh is not there like it would be if he weren't your guy. Right. I don't think Michigan – I think they're doubting Jim Harbaugh. I, I don't, think, think, if, I I think, don't if, think the Michigan fan base is ready for him to go. I think if Steve Spurrier couldn't beat Georgia, Florida State, and Tennessee in yeah. the 90s, well, we love you, I, Coach. I, I also need – has it been four years or five for Harbaugh? I think it's definitely five, but I'll check. Yeah. Well, that, that makes a I difference. Think he's, I think it might be more. I think No, I don't think he's more than five years. You don't think so? No way. I think he might be like Owen. Oh, I don't think he's beaten any of those teams. Maybe right. Michigan State. Michigan beaten, State, he yeah. got once. And, He's yeah. had six full seasons in Michigan. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 2015 was for you. He had 10 and 3, 10 and 3, 8 and 5, 10 and 3, 9 and 4, 2 and 4. He's just really had this. This has been the terrible year, but he's yeah, not lost competing. four straight uh, bowl games. Did and, not go to a bowl this year. Oh, God. Yeah, I would. Yeah. that um, And the offense has been terrible. That's terrible. the problem. Boring. It's just boring. They can't move the ball. It's not Big Ten anymore. No. You got to spread it out. Look at, the, look at Indiana. Why have they gotten good? They spread it out and you run offense. You can't. You can't hand it off and play and win football. Not in college. Too yeah. many good athletes. I yeah, and I listen. I'm sure he does a good job around the program and such. But I yeah, I I, I don't know, man. Um, Weird. I don't think. But anyway, they're gonna they're gonna resign him. They're gonna keep yeah. him. Yeah, and there you, there's a, in that funny two big names in the you know that they that, did not that, play the Ohio State. Remember right this year? That's correct. That they game got back out on that one. Yeah. Dude, I, th- I'm going to tell you right now, as sure as I'm sitting here. Tell me something good. If the Nets want to win a title, they need to unload Kyrie and fast. Oh, no. What? You, I just can't. What you, it's, What's not, it's not going to work, dude. The what? Nets are not. They First of all, they don't Where need this Kyrie come Irving. What do we have? What are you telling me? Well, he's not joining the team on a road trip after sitting out versus the 76ers for, quote, personal reasons. Already. What does that mean? I'm in a fight with my girlfriend. Uh, what? my I, I've. Oh, I need no. to call my mom. I mean, what is that? The Brooklyn That's Nets were without starting guard Kyrie Irving last night. By the way, the Nets beat the Sixers without Irving and didn't without they, Durant. Didn't they lose uh, Dinwiddie? Didn't he tear yeah, his ACL? Yeah, year, yeah. Yeah. And he's a good player, right? Well, here, Who was the other the, guy that we liked in the playoffs? Karis LeVert. Yeah, how's he doing? He's been doing really good. He okay. was awesome last night. But here's an alarm. This is an, the alarming sentence that makes me say the Nets are – Fade the Nets. They cannot win it all this year. He okay. is too much of a distraction. All you right. ready? Yep, I'm Steve ready. Steve Nash, mm-hmm. prior to the game against the Sixers, said this. I don't know why he's sitting out. Nash said he reached out to Irving but did not hear back. Ooh. And reiterated post game that it was a, quote, private matter. Karis LeVert added that Irving texted the team to inform them of his decision and said it was a personal issue but did not disclose any further information. These guys are unbelievable, man. It's just unbelievable. They're so unbelievably megalomaniacal and self-centered and he's, he's narcissistic. I, I almost don't want to throw him in with these guys. He's he's in his own world, man. He's he's from Mars. Well, they, he's, they he's, and he's, they keep remunerating him for it. Oh yeah, but he's. Uh, I would not want that guy within ten miles of my franchise, man. Yeah, it's not worth the trade-off. Mm. Yeah, I would. I, I I don't disagree. I've got. You know, I, I've got Kevin Durant. I don't right. need you, Flat Earther. Go play for the Pelicans. I, Go on. They're buddies. Oh, they were. I, I don't. I don't think. I. I don't know this for sure. I bet it's really, really a small, short list of actual Kyrie Irving buddies. He's a nut job, dude. I, I, I don't disagree. I just, don't think. You know, he is just. He's. He ain't no buddy of LeBron, is he? No. People who, of 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 respect who have tried to be buddies with Kyrie yes. claim they can't. 
Yes. So I don't think that he and Kevin Durant are buddies at all. I think Kevin Durant is more of a warrior who wouldn't go AWOL on his team without saying anything. I just like to point out they're currently a half game behind the Knicks. I know they are. <laughs> And that's where the and, and by the way, you want to know if you know this is how badly they they missed Kyrie and this the whirl of uncertainty around him. Mm-hmm. They beat the Sixers last night without either one of them. The Sixers are good. They've yes. off to a good start. Yes, Doc Rivers with the Sixers for those that haven't uh, sped up to the NBA yet. No, no NFL playoffs. Uh, great weekend coming up. Oh, I'm so jacked, man. Should be should be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to watch every game. Intriguing. You work so hard. They've all, you know, listen again, uh, kudos to the league for hanging in there through all this stuff and the, and the, and the, whatever you, your feelings are on the COVID, the they culture that is there. Good. They made it with yeah. daily testing day. I mean, again, listen, man, at the very least getting tested for COVID is a bit unpleasant. Yeah, it's and, a pain. And the cats did it every day, right? That's annoying. I mean, every day they walk in and shove that thing up their nostrils and swirl it around and off they go and. To the point that even Cleveland, a little, I'm not complaining, but I think I heard yesterday, like, Devin White of the Bucks, who has the Rona, is one, if they had played Sunday, he could have played, but they're playing Saturday, so he can't play, yet Kamara, Kamara. gets in, and I, I don't know, that's that seems a little, but, I, I mean, listen, but again, they're, they're, the, the Bucks they, are really, you know, I wonder if the NFL, if this is designed, because the Bucks are playing the terrible Washington football team. Right. And the Saints, you know, well, the Bears aren't all that great either. Right. You could argue that it's basically the same either. I don't think it matters if if they if Kamara play if didn't play, they'd beat the Bears. All right. And if Devin White did play, they're gonna beat Washington anyway. Bucks win they most likely go to Lambeau next week, right? Yeah, it'd be a one versus four, and I believe five. now uh, Yeah, four. that's correct. No, five. Yeah, five. five. There are five. But so the only team that could go go is, is if Chicago upsets New Orleans, then they would go to Lambeau. Or if the six team wins, that's their sixth. Aren't they? Oh, they're not the six. Chicago's a seven. Seven. That's right. Who's six? Six is is um, the Rams. The Rams. Okay. Rams could be the fly in the ointment. Rams. They probably win. got enough talent. Goff's gonna play, right? I mean, we I saw so. I saw a video of him throwing. He looks. I, I I yeah. I assume he's playing. I would assume he's playing. So. Uh, but like I said, each game has its own little nuances. I mean, you know, you got the fans in Buffalo geeked up and and thinking they're finally due and they're going to make a run. I'm worried for Buffalo. You think Indy could get them? Yeah, I do. Indy's yeah. the perfect kind of team to get them. They oh, play no. defense. They're oh, under the radar. No. Frank Reich has a you know comes home to Buffalo. Indy is really, really embracing this. Everyone's think, writing us you know, off. It's, you know, it's funny. They've process. got some talent, dude. They can run the ball. That's a dangerous team. They were kind of like the '96 Jags in that way. I think that. I think that every game I can give you worries for the favorite. Yeah, that's the beauty of well, the NFL I, I, playoffs. It's hard for me to. Unless the Saints just implode. It's hard for me to think the Bears are going to be the Saints. I read some stuff about how the Bears can win. Yeah. You know, I don't think they will. No. But I, but for, for, uh, I, I can't see any way Washington beats Tampa. Uh, you can't sell me well, that. Well, I'll sell it to you this way. Okay. Tampa's awful in prime time. Yeah, that's a, that's a stretch. <laughs> um, how about Washington, Tom Brady? How's he been in prime okay, time? Okay, let's say Chase Young gets free a couple times. Washington has a, has a good, yeah. gritty defense. Yeah. Um, what if they frustrate them into, into making them look like midseason, Tom? He boy seems to have gone past that. I agree. Now they got Antonio Brown's playing. I agree. I'm they don't not, have a run game, though. That's going to be the undoing I'm, I'm of the trying That's to, the undoing of the Bucs. They can't run the football. So what's going to happen in the postseason where it's 17 13 and they need a couple of first downs, a la a certain team back in 2017? Yeah. That would worry me about them long term. I, You know, the, the spreads uh, for the most part are pretty big. Yeah. You know, ten point uh, Saints, ten point favorites. Um, the Bucks, eight point favorites. The Bills, six and a half point favorites. The Steelers, six point favorites. Those are pretty big spreads. Mm-hmm. And I still, for the life of me, I don't understand the Baltimore three uh, being the favorite against the Titans in in Nashville. Yeah, it's gonna. I don't I, I'm not saying I don't think Baltimore can win. Yeah, but I'm surprised they got to give three and a half points. That just seems like this seems like a sucker play. I guess Baltimore's going to win that game by a touchdown. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why Vegas would put that line there unless they know something we don't. Vegas, Vegas, baby, Vegas, man. Uh, one other thing before we break: uh, Tennessee turmoil up there in Knoxville. What do we got? Uh, well, we 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 got a we found an excuse to get rid of the coach is what we did. But I, the assumption that Hugh Freeze is I, if you fire your 
there's a couple things here that I don't, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think Hugh Freeze is locked to Tennessee. Uh, I, th- you know, there's an NC, there's an inquiry going on right now with the Vols and and the program. So and Pruitt's been, you know, they, I think what they've done is they found reason now they can get rid of their coach if they want to. Um, they have not extended the contracts of the assistant football coach. Have paused hiring coaches for vacancies as they continue to investigate whether recruiting violations occurred within the program. Um, they've hired attorneys. It's a serious matter, okay? Okay. With Jeremy Pruitt. So what? I, what I my it thought is, is under Pruitt's watch. Yeah, my thought is this gives you <clears throat> opportunity to get rid of him if you want to. Okay. Do they want to? Of course they do. He's the been Tennessee terrible. Tennessee does. Yeah, he's terrible. But my have they? But has my, there been a Tennessee coach who hasn't been terrible? N- not in a long time. Butch but, Jones wasn't terrible, but he yeah. But my po- my point is, if you get rid of him for violations, why is it a slam dunk that Hugh Freeze comes? And I'll tell you why I don't think it is. Don't you think that South Carolina and definitely Auburn would have contacted Hugh Freeze and, and interviewed him for the job? I think that Sankey has said he ain't coming in. We're not letting him in. I, and I, I think Sankey's put the word out. You're not hiring you. I think that's. Because you see how he was. I, I think it's pretty smart if you're Sankey. Well, you see how he was shifted to. You see how he was shifted to. Uh, uh, I'm really happy at Liberty. They got a lot of stuff here, a lot of opportunity. Yeah, right. I, I, I so I, 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 I have to believe that Shane Beamer and Brian Harson or Hugh Freeze. Who would you have rather had if you're either of those well, programs? If you're going by the what they've who they accomplished, finished with. Yeah. Wouldn't you at least have talked to them? They never talked. Well, to here's him. for as much for what he's just done at Liberty as what he did at Ole Miss. Correct. I mean, that, that guy had Liberty playing winning football. I mean, I know. Like, Liberty could have played with the bottom half of just about every Power Five conference. I agree. You know, Liberty, Mississippi State, give me Liberty. So, but Hugh Freeze, look, he, he's earned this you know, this blackballing of sorts. Oh, yeah. I'm you not, know, you know, know, what he did at Ole Miss was all, you know, smoking mirrors and cheating. It was cheating. You know, and so... You know, and when you do that, you cost legitimate programs opportunities that they could have had, opportunities you shouldn't have had, but except you cheated. But Jeremy Pruitt, five and seven, eight and five, and three and seven. I think he's terrible. I thought he was a terrible hire. I would never hire Jeremy yeah, Pruitt. I think it was, he's a terrible it was, hire. It was so Tennessee to do it. I don't know why Tennessee can't. Tennessee, man, they they think they're getting John Gruden and they get Jeremy Pruitt. It's just what they do. I guess Tennessee's just not that attractive on a job lately. Well, it's been now since Philip left. And Philip left in one, what? two, and not count interim. And, and, and by the way, Philip's a big winner in the retrospect because Four by coaches. the end of his tenure, he was no different than these buffoons that have been uh, leading them. Nine and three and eight and four for his last two years. Out. Yeah, and, and one of those after thirteen and zero is that is one of those like the Gators beat him fifty five to ten or something. Remember, I can just remember they just uh, went ninety nine and two thousand. So yeah, I'm sure, but nonetheless. So oh, what, wait, I got that wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was worse, wasn't yeah, he? I, well, actually, <laughs> well, he went five and seven his last year. Uh, yeah, so in 08. which is these but guys ten and four, nine and four, uh, five and six, ten and three, ten and three. So. I'm guessing 08, the Florida beat him though a hundred to nothing because I can remember Tennessee fans that afternoon. That's when they lost it. We got to get rid of Phil Fulmer. Yeah. They, do you have the score there? No. But they went to Gainesville and they got blown Well, out. that was our natty year, so and it was oh, our right. high scoring year, so I would yeah, say you're I'm gonna correct. look that up real quick. Yeah. But yeah, that was the, the the end for Phil Fulmer, who amazingly he's resurfaced. I I you know I think that uh, our thinking that guys would like to coach again is probably a little bit off because Phil Philip Fulmer could have easily now stepped back into that job if he wanted it. All right, Bifa, let's hand out something today on a Friday. I feel good. Yes. Uh, my my sports world is upside down. I'm giddy with joy. Uh, I've got Trevor Town. I've got Frankie and Cookie. Uh, uh, I got five and three in the NBA. I couldn't be happier. Uh, as we always say on this Rangers show. Rangers will probably win the cup. Many times. Fridays are for flowers, Dan. So uh, We always say that. Always. And you need to hook your lady up with a beautiful bouquet or uh, uh, setting right now from our friends at Kuhn. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, delivered Love by Kuhn, Kuhn flowers. flowers for oh. caller number... Four. Right. Four. Florida in 2000. Six, four, one, ten, ten right now. Florida in 2008 won at Tennessee 30 to six. It was the year previous where the just the, 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 the murmur overtook. Florida beat Tennessee in Gainesville in 2007 59 to 20. Oof. And that's a period where Tennessee still had pride. All right, this is the drill. It's an All American Friday. We got the Friday five pack uh, this week.